क्वेश्चन सिक्स अ कुरियर साइकिल्स फ्रॉम अ टाउन टू अ नेबरिंग सबर्बन एरिया टू डिलीवर अ पार्सल टू अ मर्चेंट हिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द टाउन एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स इज शोन बाय द फॉलोइंग ग्राफ सो ग्राफ इज गिवन टू अस एंड अ कुरियर इज बीन पार्सल फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू द अदर टू द मर्चेंट सो दैट इज बीन शोन इन द ग्राफ so here the graph is given where this is the time duration and here in the y axis distance covered in particular time slot is given so in 8 am on 8 am the parcel has just started and the distance covered at 9 am is 10 km same way in 10 at 10 am distance covered is 16 km then 11 am and then till 11:30 it is going so first question that is being asked here is what is the scale taken for the time axis time axis is on the x axis here is the time axis so as i have already told one box or one this one box is 1 cm or one unit you can say here 1 2 3 4 4 units are taken between 8 am to 9 am that is 1 hr so we can say 4 units is equal to 1 hr so the time is taken along the x axis the scale along x axis is 4 units is equal to 1 hr so b how much time did the person take for the travel so person is starting from position zero position that is for at 8 am he is starting and the parcel is reaching till here the last location is here at what time it is coming in between 11 am and 12 noon it is exactly after two blocks after or two units after 11 am that is exact half so 11:30 this will be 11:30 so it is starting from 8 am till 11:30 the parcel is reach the merchant so total travel time taken by a courier will be 8 am to 11:30 what is the time duration 8 to 9 is 1 hour then 9 to 10 is then 2 hours then 10 to 11 3 hours and then this half so total is 3.5 hours c how far is the place of the merchant from the town this is the final location that is the distance Uh, this is the final location where the parcel has reached the merchant and this is the starting point so we have to find out the distance what is the distance between the starting point and the merchant so here from 0 till 2 22 kilometers so from 0 to 22 kilometers the parcel had reached so the distance of the so distance of the merchant from the town is 22 kilometers now next is did the person stop on his way explain let's look at the graph and see here from 8 am to 9 am the graph is increasing so distance is covered from 0 to 10 km then 9 to 10 the distance is again covered from 10 to 16 km then during this time it is plain this is in horizontal line is given that means constant distance is not at all covered here so that means the rest period will be from this time to this time here it is 10 o'clock and here if you can see it is coming in between 10 and 11 that is 10 30 so the resting period is from 10 am to 10 30 am so yes the stoppage time is equal to 10 am to 10 30 am this is indicated by the horizontal part of the graph now e during which period did he ride fastest so to know uh, when he was fastest so we have to see the distance covered when was the time duration during which he has covered the maximum distance so from 8 to 9 he has covered covered distance from 0 to 10 kilometers so total 10 kilometers he has traveled from 8 am to 9 am then 10, 9 am to 10 am 
he has traveled from 10 to 16 kilometers that means total 6 kilometers here he has traveled 10 kilometers then here he has traveled 6 kilometers then here it was rest period then again from 10 30 to this is 11 30 that is again one hour in one hour he has traveled from 16 to 22 that is six hours again so you can clearly see he first from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. he has traveled the fastest that is of 10 kilometers. So he rode fastest between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m.